hello and welcome back guys to our forex topics channel and on today's topic guys we're gonna have supply and demand um so judging by the previous video which i spoke about price action um that it should be the first most important thing that you as a beginner trader should um should learn and know about and i did highlight um, and explain to you guys what the important things to learn in price action for you to be able to be consistent and profitable by using price action now the second most important tool in your arsenal as a beginner trader is supply and demand whereas um supply and demand is is a very vital is a very vital um is a very very vital concept in in the forex market that as a beginner trader or intermediate trader or even professional trader should understand in order for you to be able to build your consistency and profitability over time so without further ado guys um, don't forget to hit the like um, subscribe if you haven't turn that bell button on for notifications and let's go into it <clears throat> so <clears throat> what um so in this video i'll be generally explaining and elaborating to you guys about what supply and demand is um, how do we use it in the forex markets and how can we spot it as well as use it to trade with that being said uh, i'm not going to be teaching about supply and demand no i'll just be highlighting and explaining the most important key areas that you as a beginner trader intermediary trader and even professional trader that doesn't know supply and demand should pass through in order for you to be um, efficient and sufficient in trading through supply and demand in the forex markets now let's get into it so <clears throat> the first most imp important thing that you should know is what supply and demand stands for right so supply is generally um what's being offered right so that is supply well demand is generally what is wanted or required so with that being said it means that if people want something then there are some people are going to have to to supply it right if the market demands then it's going to supply eventually so that that's how supply and demand works um in the forex markets so in the forex markets we do use supply and demand to see the most important areas that price is actually going to make a retest and um from there is where we take our entries plus to determine where price is actually going right because price um breaks and tests structure over time but do notice that price doesn't move in a, in um in the same way right price moves fractionally over time it changes its patterns over time and that's exactly why not everyone is a trader so in supply and demand we are we are actually dealing with um with with the last zones right so with supply it's actually going to be the last up move before the down move right so if price was gonna was going um in a bullish trend like this right so in this trend we're actually having supply as well as demand zones now what are supply zones right supply zones basically are the last moves that end the up move before that down move started meaning that our supply zones in these charts are ultimately going to be lying in these areas right they are found at the highs that is where supply zones are found while demand zones are actually the opposite of supply zones meaning that demand zones stand for the last down moves before the up move was initiated meaning that demand zones are found at where the lows right so that is what supply and demand basically means in this forex um, market so as you can see that price breaks and test structure over time now with it with each break and test there are supply zones always being involved right now there are different types of supply zones and demand zones right so there are normal s and d zones where and there are also hidden um, supply and demand zones so um when digging up you should know all uh, what all these stand for so uh, with that being said let me actually now give the uh the the actual examples in charts right so this is the us oil on the four hour so the reason that i'm using the same pair is that i want to show you guys how everything applies to the forex market right so by using the same chart I'm going to be explaining each and every important concept that you should know and how it's applied right so we did apply price action uh, we did apply price action content in these very charts and if you uh, if you don't know what price action means you could just roll back and watch the price action video and then 
um, come to continue with this so that we could all be on the same page. So, uh, like being said, um, supply zones are the zones that end the up move and initiate the down move, right? So, supply if the market is going up, right, like this. So they are the move, the moves that end the up move, and now what? Initiate the down move, right? So this is how. Uh, so these right here are the supply zones, right? Now, coming to the charts, of course. So the the supply zone is simply gonna be the last up candle before the down candles started, right? So um, my bullish candles are these green ones and bearish the black ones, right? So the last bullish candle before the bearish move started, that will be my supply zone, right? So we have a supply zone here. Um, we also have a supply zone here, right? So you're going to have m multiple of these zones in, in, in your charts. Now, as I say that I will uh, pass through the most important hints that are potentially necessary for, for you to know, but I'm not actually going to teach you... Um, in deep in depth on this right and if you want that knowledge to the extra level you can kindly dm us on instagram at official green pips and fx um to join our mentorship and we will be happy to receive you so with that being said the last up moves are simply the supply zones right so these moves are the supply zones that candle that um okay so let's take in this down move right so we could just make this like that this like that boom right so this is, yeah, it's actually very visible. So simply the last up move, right? So price went down, right? And then it went up. Now the last up move is what? This candle here with this up wick, right? So this was the last down move before this, um, I mean the last up move before the down move started, right? The same way price went up, right? So the last up move, the last bullish candle before the bearish move started, right? So these are your supply zones. Well, for the opposite of them is gonna be the demand zones, which are simply, the last down moves before the up moves started, right? The last bearish candle before the bullish move started. So as I did say that the bearish candles are the black candles. So there, that's your last bearish candle, which comes there, your last bearish candle before the bullish move started, right? So price comes from here, makes the high, comes back, retests, beautiful entry there. You take price high, right? So with every move, there is um, there is a, um, a demand zone and a supply zone, right? So from the low to that high, to that low, to that high, to that low, to, you know, the highs continue, right? So all these you have are your what? Your demand zones, right? Boom. The last up move, the last down move before the up move started, right? So the last bearish candle before the bullish move started. And as you can see, price just breaks structure, comes back to test these zones, and then continues further now that is generally the whole concept on how to spot these zones as i did say before that i'm not teaching about this i'm just making um a simple review right a footprint for you guys to follow when learning this stuff right because information is um very much available on, on the internet and as i said if you do want um the premium level of this stuff you can um kindly check us on instagram at official green pips at x and we will be happy to receive you and teach you guys at the maximum performance, right? <clears throat> so, now that you know how to identify the supply and demand zones, um, I'm gonna be exp uh, I'm gonna explain to you guys how to trade from these zones, right? So, for example, you have you have um, okay. So let's take a move in here. Okay, let's just go front a little bit and boom, right? So you have this bullish move that started from here that changing the character of this market with this sign of strength here and the reaches right so let's follow order flow right now right okay so we're following order flow right so you have the high um the the low the high the low the high the low the high the low and the high and the low right so let's see how could uh could we have caught these moves right so okay let's zoom in a little bit and Let's take price there. So price came from here and, and made this high, right? So this is the first continuation move. Now while looking for pullback, you have to identify the demand zones that lie within this whole move. So the first you have the original demand zone, 
all the way down there right and then you have this intermediary demand zone right there right so price makes a high and then a slight retest right that's all but this is just intermediary structure of this whole bullish play here so with this move right here right so price makes the high comes back makes this false retest here with all that accumulation um creating liquidity now i'm gonna be talking a lot of concepts here but each concept will have its own video so just bear with that bear with us right so now uh, with that being said um so price comes here makes this um uh, makes this whole fake shit and then breaks down now as as it breaks down where's price going right so that's why i did say that supply and demand is not only used um, for us to take entries but also to determine where price is going right so as soon as this low right here is broken where is price going right price is basically heading to the original zone all the way down there and lo and behold price just reaches there and tests it right leaving that beautiful rejection so let's say your entry is there this is just trading supply and demand right so you have your structural confirmation with the breaker structure right here boom right so that's your breaker structure so you already have your structural confirmation of a bit of a bullish move right so you do that know that this market is going bullish so where is it going bullish from that's the tricky part right and that's what supply and demand is there for it's there to answer you the, your your fundamental question of where price is gonna go before it actually continues with the trend so lo and behold you have your entry there and you're looking to hold it to where your trade profits at the what at the highs okay so this is done right so that's our first trade then you have the same thing repeating itself let's just delete this right you have the same thing repeating itself you have the low and the high all this nonsense between here is just intermediary structure we do not focus on that the only thing we focus is the break of structure so as long as structure is not broken that's still intermediary structure right so we only follow the moves that break structure and then we follow its retest right so we now have our break of structure right here right so this is structural being broken right so with that break of structure sorry my drawing is just terrible <laughs> okay so with that structure being broken um i think i'm just gonna use the, the trend line it's gonna actually fit in um a lot cooler so with that structure being broken what's there now right so you have a low and a high now where are your um demand zones right because in in the form of an uptrend we only have demand zones at the lows right and supply zones as the high at the highs like i said before so where is our demand zone right we have our demand zone right here right so this is the bullish i mean the bearish move right so the last bearish candle boom and then there and then we just pull this back a little bit uh, there boom. right so this candle that starts right here so this last bearish candle before the bullish play started right so that is our demand zone lo and behold price creates a structural high and then makes a retest to where to the demand zone right so this is basically supply and demand trading right and um okay so right there your entry there your stop loss may be there and you're looking to target what the high right and as i said before guys the only thing that supply and demand is there for is to tell you where price is going why is it going there and where is it going to go um in the near future as well as the uh, the far future right based on your level of understanding so learning this is how to build your um your progress your consistency and your profitability over time as a beginner trader or an intermediary trader or whatever right so with these examples being provided right so we have clearly seen how supply and demand can be there um so supply and demand is always there right and how to trade it um is basically as i showed you so the rest is for you to go in and dig further deeper right um there's a bunch of materials for you guys to be able to understand it and some people have this confusion that um maybe something only works on on on, on the same time frame right so let, let's let's uh let's go to let's go to my to my to my watch list right here um and pick any pair maybe gold no no not gold um let's say like gj right okay so there's gj right and i haven't traded gj for a while and so since i did make these drawings um okay so let's reset reset this chart and let's see what's there for us right um let's minimize that and let's see how supply and demand 
works um, on the lower time frames, right? So with the same things, right? The same ideas that we used before, right? And okay, let's just focus on this recent price action and leave the confusion from the past. Okay, so let's make this a little bit wide. Let's zoom in a little bit and there. Um, <clears throat> so this is the GJ, right? And as you can see that GJ is quite bullish. Now, from its bullishness, right? <clears throat> let's see how supply and demand would work in here, right? So let's now start by following order flow. So you have the high and you, you have the low and you do have, does this break it? Not yet. Okay, so that high, that low, that high and all the way to what that low that high that's um let's use this one here that's low um okay that's low that high that low that high that's low right there and that high and that low and that high right so let's just use this right here so let's follow the order flow right now so price break structure and then reach the strike as i said before price always breaks and reaches structure over time so we do have a breaker structure here. Now, after that structure has been broken, where is your last down move that initiated that up move that broke structure, right? So price did have this down move, right? Um, we had this down move here, this bearish candle that came all the way here. So this did initiate this whole up move, right? But within this play, right, there's also intermediary structure that did actually initiate some things, right? So you do have another down move there. Now it's not important to be a um to 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 mark every zone and trade from it, right? So you can just be patient and only use a single zone, right? So you have your original zone down there. So price makes this this bullish play here, which is part of like major structural play um in the higher time frames. But in the lower time frames, it looks like there's a break of structure and it's what it's what, but this in the lower time frames is simply something like this in the higher time frames i mean it's simply something like this and then this and then this right so price makes this move which is this move right and then a pullback which is now this move here so a pullback a pullback to where to the demand zone right price is now um so price has gone price has demanded after demanding price has supplied so after supplying price is gonna what it's gonna demand again right so there is where your bullish play is right and if you look for confirmation and i will talk about this in the future if you look for confirmation um there's a pretty decent entry in there but let's not talk about that right now so let's say you had your entry there your stop loss a little below that and you're looking to target the highs as usual right so this is supply and demand now in the lower time frames in a completely um, different pair. Lo and behold, what do you see, guys? A winning trade, right? So consistency um, is built over time. So supply and demand is basically there, not uh, not for you to trade it as its own, but um, a very good addition to your arsenal, right? Um, if you want to be profitable and consistent in the forex market, um, it's very vital that you use a combination of different um, concepts for you to be able to understand the market in depth rather than just using one thing and you know end up being stranded um, in, in, in very minor minor shifts or, or changes right so with a lot of concepts you get to be sure of what you're doing because if price action it's is telling you that it's a buy right and supply uh supply and demand is also telling you that it's a buy and then ict tells you it's a buy so you get to be very sure with what you're doing right rather than being afraid you know because fear means um insecurity you're not sure what you're doing that's what fear means right so if you're afraid to click that buy or that sell it clearly means that you don't know what you're doing right so with um uh, with the knowledge of many uh concepts like this you get to be very sure of what you're doing and thus um it will actually minimize your emotional levels as a beginner trader if you haven't dealt with that yet but um that was just some pep talk from me guys so without further ado uh, don't forget to click to click the like um subscribe if you haven't turn that bell button on for notifications and until the next time guys